Are you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, this is adding fractions part two, where we're just going to make the fractions just a little bit more complicated to deal with, but not too complicated. So the question I'm going to ask is um, three quarters plus seven tenths. Okay, now as we said before in part one, it's important these two numbers are exactly the same. The, the denominator is exactly the same. Now, it's, if you multiply the two together, then it means that you can have both of them 40th. And you'd be able to calculate 3 quarters of 40th and 7 tenths of 40th. Or the other way of doing it is saying, well, actually, both numbers will go into the number 20. So, 4 will go to the number 25 times, and 10 will go to the number 20 twice. So what we do, as we said before, is whatever we do to the top, we have to do to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to make it so that both numbers are over the number 20. So what have I got to do to 4 to get to 20? I multiply it by 5. So if I multiply 4 by 5 to get to 20, I've got to multiply 3 by 5. And 3 by 5 is 15. 10 to get to 20 is twice, 2 times t uh, 7 is 14. So the answer to 3 quarters plus 7 tenths is 15 twentieths plus 14 twentieths, which is 29 twentieths. Now it's better, it makes a little bit of sense and it looks a lot nicer, is if you make that from a fraction into a whole number plus the bit of the fraction that's left over. So the whole number there is 20 twentieths, which is one whole one, and then there's nine twentieths left over. Nine twentieths. So the answer to that question is one and nine twentieths. Okay, now, if you don't know what this number is, then there is a way of working it out. And the way that we're working out is we're going to try and work out what we call the greatest common factor. And what we do is we use division. So we've got 4 and 10. It's a little bit like short division. And I'm going to write down 4 and 10 there. And I'm going to make a division sign over the top of it. Now, what number will go into 4 and 10? The number 2. Okay, so 2 into 4 goes twice, and 2 into 10 goes 5 times. Now I can't now find any other number that will go into 2 and into 5. So what I've got left now is that number, that number, and that number. Now if we multiply all of those numbers together, that will give us the greatest common factor. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 2, uh, times 5, is 20. So the greatest common factor of 4 and 10 is 20. Now I knew that, and I guess you did too, because we could work it out ourselves. But this is a really good way of doing it if you're not sure what the greatest common factor is. Okay, now the other question that we're going to ask today is I'm going to slightly change that so that I've also got some whole numbers as well. So I'm still going to have three quarters, and I'm still going to have seven tenths, but this time I'm going to say it's six and three quarters added to three and seven tenths. Okay, well, we know that three quarters and seven tenths is exactly what we've done before. We're going to rewrite it over the number 20. So it becomes 6 and 15 twentieths plus 3 whole ones and 14 twentieths. I'm going to add the two together. 6 and 3 is 9. We know that. We've added the whole ones together. 15 twentieths and 14 twentieths is 29 twentieths. So what we've got now is 9 whole ones plus 1 whole one and 9 
twentieths. So, 9 add 1 is 10. 9 twentieths left over. So the answer to this question is 10 and 9 twentieths. So, providing we make sure that the fractions are the same, and we can add the fractions together, we can add them together, and we can add the whole ones together, and then we can work it out until we get to an answer that seems right. And that's how to add fractions together where you're not quite sure what the greatest common factor would be, and also you can add them with whole numbers in it as well. I hope that's okay. If you want to practice, then there's some downloadable documents at the bottom of the file here, and you should be able to download those and practice them as well.